Hey guys, welcome back to your basic channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you this very cool exercise I normally use, okay? And this exercise helps me or improves my bass lick, okay? Finding it difficult to play licks in worship, praises, or in any groove, just try watch the video to the end so that I will show you the tips and how you can use these exercises daily, okay? If you're also new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe like and also leave a comment i also do one-on-one -on -one bass lesson privately so if you're interested you can click this link or you can see the link in the comment section below go click on it and dm me on my whatsapp okay let's begin with the breakdown so we will be using the third fret and we will be starting from the third fret that is one from your g G sharp A B flat to your sixth fret. Okay, so if you don't understand the fret, it's like this. If you want to count it, you, you see this empty space here one, two, three. Okay, so we'll be using here three, four, five, six. Okay, we will be using four notes for this exercise. Okay, so um, it goes like this. <laughs> I will show you how you can use it and how you can also pluck with it, okay? It's very, very easy. Just You just need to concentrate on it and try and do this exercise every morning or anytime you touch your bass guitar, okay? So at the end of this exercise, you'll be able to play like cool licks like this. Okay, so something like that. Something like that. And... It, it will also boost your fingering, like strengthening your fingers, if you understand me. So, um, let's say, now on the third fret. Okay, I'm making this easy for you guys. That is on your G normally. And use your first finger, this one, to play. Okay, and now your fourth finger to play the sixth fret. You see? So something like this, okay, so, and, and the keys are G and B flat, okay, G, B flat, G, B flat, okay, or you can do it this way, okay, so G, B flat, and now you'll be using your second finger, and your second finger will be playing G sharp, okay. That is on your fourth fret. And your third finger will be playing A. That is on your fifth fret. Okay, so something like this. Okay. Okay. So with a plucking technique, you see that anytime you pluck, you use these two fingers. This one, right? So when you are plucking, make sure the two of them go something like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, something like that. Okay, so, so make sure you use the two fingers. Okay, so. Okay, so now let me mention the fingers numbers. That is one, two, one, two. Okay, so. One, two, 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 one, two. Okay. Now to your second string. Now to your first string. Okay. You can also use this exercise even as a bass line in the groove. Okay, I'll show you that. So let's continue. So if you have your metronome, okay, try and play it in all the keys, wherever you start, just do it there, even on your C. Okay, so, Okay, so you can also use this exercise to create bass line, okay? So let me show you too. So something, something like this. You see? 
Oke. Okay. Okay. So just learn this exercise. Okay, this is an opportunity for you. So use this exercise daily in your lifetime, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.